Let's take a look at some of the changes we've made to selections in Photoshop CS5. On the left-hand side of the screen, you see the best mask that I could make in CS4. Uh, this is a very difficult situation because we've got no, not only a low-resolution file, uh, but we have hair in this image, and it's very difficult to isolate that. I've taken the selection I used in CS4, I've loaded it in CS5, and we're going to come into Refine Edge, which has been completely redesigned. One thing that you'll notice is the preview uh, uses the same image uh, as yours, so it's directly within context there. The next thing we're going to do, uh, just we're going to give ourselves a larger radius, and immediately we see that we start picking up a lot of the hair that's in our image. So already with just one mouse click, we've got a much, much better selection of that hair. Next thing I'll do is click Smart Radius, and Photoshop will look around the edge of the image. It knows the difference between the hard edge of the cat's ear and the soft edge of its fur. And now what we can do is we can use this touch-up brush to come around and just clean up our mask. I'm option clicking to remove areas from the mask, like that. And if you recall, there was a cat's whisker right here. We'll just draw, and that will appear immediately there. We have a lot of other control here, but not only do we have powerful control for selecting hair, but it's really quick and easy as well. Let's look at one other change we've made to that feature. And this is around removing color contamination. This is a very common case where we have this woman against a green backdrop. Another case you'd often see is if you had a person with blonde hair standing in front of a blue sky, some of the blue pixels would start leaking into her hair. In this case, what we want to do is remove that green fringing that appears on the edge of her jacket. Now, we don't want to contract the selection because then we would lose uh, part of our mask there, and we don't want to go around and selectively desaturate it. Not only is that time-consuming, but we'd end up with a fringe that was desaturated. Now in CS5, we have the ability to just click on Decontaminate Colors, and we've immediately removed that color fringe. I can pull that over more and toggle it off and on so you can see before and after.